Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Root Yoga Therapy. I'm your certified yoga therapist, Jasmine Leventhal, and if you've been following along, we are here at 32 weeks pregnant as part of our pregnancy series. Now, I am really feeling the fatigue today, so I think we're gonna dial it down several notches, do something really gentle and nourishing for the body, bring in a little meditation, and of course, lots of breathing. So go ahead, hop into something comfy, grab your props, grab your water, and I'll see you on the mat. All right, welcome back. Let's get started. So as you see, I have my bolster set up with my two blocks in my most favorite reclining position. This allows us to be on our back but not put pressure on that vena cava. So really safe during pregnancy and um, really safe for baby. So no need to worry there. We're gonna go ahead and shift having the base of our hips on the base of the bolster and begin to lie back. Now, once I'm here, I love it because I feel super supportive um, and I feel super supported and I feel like a really nice opening around my chest. And I'm gonna take my legs in a butterfly position. So soles of the feet are coming together, knees are nice and wide and maybe one hand on heart, one hand on belly, if that feels comfortable. That's also a really nice way to ground and get back into the body. Um, if you're looking for a little more space across the chest, it could feel good to have the arms wide around the bolster or alongside the body. <sighs> and honestly, I have been so tired, but I knew that coming onto my mat would make me feel better and give me hopefully a little more energy. So it took a lot to get me here this morning, but I'm here and I'm happy to be here and I, I know that this is gonna be, this is gonna feel really good. So if you're in that place, congratulations, you made it on your mat and that is the hardest part. And now the easy stuff comes where we breathe and move together. So soften your eyes to close. And again, just finding those super gentle breaths in and out through the nose. So already honoring the time you've carved out of your day to spend on your mat, giving yourself lots of credit for showing up today. And I'm just finding some gentle breaths in and out through the nose. The jaw is nice and soft, the throat is open. And if you're feeling sensations in your body, maybe you're feeling a little achy in your lower back or maybe you're feeling a little tension around your hips. So just notice all of that stuff if that's present. And maybe you're feeling great and you're super energized and you're feeling really open and that's awesome. So notice that too. And just continuing with your even breaths in and out through your nose, finding that slow, rhythmic pattern. Starting to feel a gentle lengthening of the tailbone, releasing down towards the heels, creating a little more space and neutrality in the lower back, especially now that the belly is a little bigger. The tendency is for that lower back to overarch. So this is a really good place to find a little more stability and neutralize this part of the body.
Good, and then when you're ready, you can bring your hands to the outer edges of your knees, continuing with the breath as you draw the knees in towards one another, stamping your feet down and feet hips distance apart. So as you inhale, just gently reaching your right arm up and back behind you, finding a nice stretch through your waist, and exhale, lowering the arm down. Good, we'll head over with that movement to the left side. Inhale, left arm reaching up and back. And exhale, releasing it down. Good, right arm, inhale, reach it up and back. And exhale, letting it go. Inhale, left arm reaches up and back. Exhale, letting it go. Good, two more on each side. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, release. And one more, each side, just at your own pace. Really nice. So you're welcome to keep your left knee bent and foot planted. We're gonna pull the right knee in. I actually feel more comfortable with my left leg extended. And we're just gonna take some little circles with the leg. So again, if having the left leg extended is gonna be pulling too much on your lower back, have a little bend in the knee, or place like a block maybe underneath the knee or a pillow just for support. Good. And circling the leg, just switching directions when you feel ready. And just moving some energy can feel really, really nice at this stage in pregnancy. Good. Once your leg is back in center, bring the sole of the foot to the inner left thigh, finding a supine tree pose. We're going to extend through the uh, left heel, so really activate through the left leg. And then as you inhale, reaching both arms up and back behind you, find a nice stretch here. It might feel good to bring the hands to touch. It might feel good to interlace all but the index finger and thumb, stretching the knuckles and fingers straight back towards the wall behind you. Full inhale here. And as you exhale, gently releasing your hands all the way back down by your hips, using your right hand as that guide, bringing your right leg back to center. Really nice. And then both feet replant. Good. Widen your feet as wide as your mat and just rock the knees from side to side like windshield wipering your legs. And this is a really gentle practice. It's also a really great way to kind of ground in if you're feeling kind of all over the place, if you're feeling overwhelmed at this point in pregnancy. Maybe you're like me and you have um, a nursery that's looking like quite a mess <laughs> with stuff everywhere. So, you know, that could be overwhelming. The thought of birth and labor can be overwhelming. So again, this is a good practice to help you ground as well. Good, bringing your feet back to hips distance apart, extending your le uh, right leg forward. The left leg is gonna come into that tree pose. And go ahead and, wait, before we get there, come back. Let's go circle the leg. So not quite yet in tree, just bringing the left knee to chest. Again, if you decided to bend your right knee and support your spine, you can do that and then make those circles. So you guys are following my true pregnancy journey. So again, if I'm a little forgetful here and there today, be gentle. <laughs> Good, go ahead, switch the direction. And coming back to center. 
Good, keep a nice flexed right foot. And now we'll land that left foot in the tree shape. So the sole of the left foot is along the inner right leg. Good, and feeling, just have to adjust, just feeling that strength into the right foot. Inhale, reaching the arms up and back. Finding a nice long spine. Maybe you brought the palms to touch. Maybe you interlaced all but the index and thumb. Stretching back just as much as that right heel is reaching forward. And I feel baby moving right now. So I love breathing into that movement, expanding my belly, maybe giving him a little more room to play with here. Good, and then as you exhale, slowly releasing your hands back down by your hips, guiding that left leg back to center and re-bend into the knees. Good, firming down into your hands. We'll do some gentle bridges, just lifting the hips. So hands are gonna firm down alongside your mat, pressing into the feet as you inhale, lifting those hips. Exhale, coming down. Great, three more. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, come down. If you wanna to start to stretch your arms back for extended bridge for these next two rounds, you're welcome to do that. It would look something like this. Inhale, lifting the hips, arms reach back. Exhale, lowering down. And one more. Inhale, lifting the hips, arms reach. Exhale, lower it down. Really nice. Since we're here, let's go ahead and cross that right ankle over the left knee, taking a figure four stretch. And you're welcome to leave the left foot down. This might feel like enough. Remember, we have a lot of that relaxing in our body, so it's very easy to overstretch at this stage. If you're feeling like mm, maybe you have a little more space, you're welcome to pick up the left leg, taking the hands behind the left thigh and holding here. Try not to bring the shoulders up by the ears if you notice that's happening. See if you can soften down, releasing any unneeded tension in the body. Keeping with those nice, even, steady, grounded breaths. And slowly lowering that left foot down, releasing the right leg. Good, squeezing both knees in, bringing hands behind both thighs or to stretch the feet up on the inhale, pointing into the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Good, inhale, stretch the feet. Exhale, bend. Two more, inhale. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, stretching the feet. Good, exhale, bend. Soften the right foot down, taking the left ankle over the right knee. And this might feel like enough. Remember, we're not symmetrical. So if on one side you felt you had more space and on this side you don't, that's okay. Please honor where your body is and try not to push too far. If you're feeling ready and willing, you can always interlace the hands behind that right thigh and feel that stretch into your left hip. So I feel this much more on this side, which is a good signal to me that my left hip might be a little tighter. And breathing here. Again, working with those steady breaths. One more, inhale. And gently releasing that right foot down, uncrossing the left leg. Good, we're gonna revolve our body, so go ahead and roll to one side and press yourself up. 
We're moving to a side lying position, so the reclining um, setup is going to stay. This time I'm going to bring the base of my hips to the base of the bolster. I'm going to extend my arm out. This can be used to support my head. Maybe I'm resting my head in my arm. Do whatever is comfortable on your neck. Um, so for me, it's pretty comfortable to be here. You want to have the knees lined up one over the other. So if they're, one's kind of falling behind, just adjust. Good, so we're side lying with the support of the bolster and we'll move starting with the left arm. So as you inhale, reaching the arm up and overhead. Exhale, lowering down. Good, inhale, reaching the arm. Exhale, release. Three more. Top arm reaches. Exhale, release. Last two. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. I'm going to stretch my top leg towards the front of my mat, flex into the foot, taking an inhale, reaching my top arm up and over towards my ear, breathing here. One more inhale. Exhale, lowering that top arm down by the hip and re-bending into the knee. Good. Gently pushing into your hands, pressing yourself all the way back up. And for you at home, you're just going to rotate to the opposite side so it would look like this. For me, just so I can continue facing forward so you can see what I'm doing, I'm actually going to move my setup to the other side of the mat. And again, this is really for the purposes of the visual so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just going to reset myself up. But you at home, go ahead and find yourself in that side lying position. And bringing your hip to the base of the bolster, resting your head, maybe in your upper arm, maybe your hand. And then again, as we breathe, inhale, reaching that top arm up and over. Exhale, releasing it down. Nice job. Inhale, reach up and over. Exhale, release. Three more. Inhale. Exhale, release. And last two. Exhale. And last one. Exhale, release. Good. Inhale, stretching your top leg towards the front of your mat, flexing your toes, reaching your top arm up and back so you're finding a lot of space through the top waist. Three breaths. On the exhale, lowering the hand, re-bend the knee, stacking, and gently pressing yourself all the way back up. Really nice. We can um, disassemble our props here. And I'll just move my blocks off to the side. Good, let's go ahead and come into a hands and knees position. 
So lately I've loved using my blanket to help support my knees. Even though I have a very thick mat, I just find it to be a little more comfortable. My hands are gonna come underneath my shoulders, my knees underneath my hips, and we're gonna take some nice big hip circles. So shifting that weight forward on the inhale, sweeping your hips over to one side, all the way back and over, forward, one side, backward, over, good. And switch the direction of those circles. Now just moving my body, I'm already starting to feel a little more energized. I'm feeling a little less achy. Sometimes when I'm not moving and I'm fatigued, I get like this achiness in my back and my hips. So that's starting to dissipate. So maybe there's things that you're noticing in your body as well. Good, I'm gonna keep my knees just slightly wider than my hips because that's gonna create more space for belly. And I'm gonna walk my hands forward to a puppy dog position. Once my forearms are down, I'm gonna bend my elbows, take prayer in the hands, lower my forehead to the earth, and take those hands to the back of the head. And just breathing into the sides of my body as well as into the triceps, so finding some space here. And this, this is also gonna help open up through the shoulders. Last three breaths. And slowly releasing the hands forward, walking the hands back towards your shoulders and coming back into that hands and knees position. Good. I'm going to work a frog leg. So this is going to require us to have a little wider uh, positioning in the knees. We're going to flex the feet. I actually have to change the rotation of my blanket because I want some extra padding. So again, the knees are going to come a little wider than the hips. We're going to flex the feet and I'm going to start to sink back. Coming onto my forearms, I'm just going to breathe here, working a little more of a stretch into the hips. Now, if you want some support, go ahead and grab your block, place it underneath your head. And just finding some really nice breaths here, working our way into the inner groin. Good, last two breaths. Gently pressing back into your hands, shifting that weight forward and slowly bringing the knees back in line with the hips. Nice job. Good. Go ahead and cat cow here as you inhale, dropping that belly, scooping your heart forward. Exhale, coiling to round the spine. Good. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, round. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. And last one. Good, pausing here. You're gonna extend your right leg straight back, spin the right heel to the mat, and then as you inhale, find this side plank position so it's modified with the knee down. Stretch the right arm forward, 
and breathing here, opening up around your chest and waist, pushing down through that foot. So very similar to what we were doing on the bolster, except now we're balancing a little more with the shin and the hand. Good, full deep breaths, maybe shifting your gaze up. One more inhale. As you exhale, cycling the right hand down, squaring the hip, lower the right knee. Good, inhale, sweeping the left leg back, spin onto the heel of the foot, and then staying balanced on your right shin, sweep your left arm up, and stretching it forward. Good, finding a lot of space. Keep pushing down through the outside edge of your left foot, that's gonna create a lot more stability for you. And breathing here, three full breaths. On your next exhale, gently releasing your left hand down and left knee down. Good, rocking the hips side to side could feel really nice. And we'll work our way into a downward facing dog. So hands are gonna come like an inch or two forward of your shoulders. Go ahead and tuck your toes. I'm gonna keep my legs wide because that's gonna keep a lot of space for belly and lift my hips up and back. Good. So feet are nice and wide. You might wanna drop your heels to one side and the other. Continuing to find your breath here as you sweep heels from one side to the other. And then finding some stability in your dog. Good, pressing your hips back, engaging into your arms and hands. Good, taking a full breath in. Exhale, soften the knees to the earth and sink the hips into child's pose. Good, so we'll move in and out of our dog to child's pose. On your next inhale, crawl the body forward. Exhale, tuck the toes, shift your hips back, downward facing dog. Big breath in here. Exhale, knees to the earth, hips to the heels. And two more, inhale, takes you forward. Curl the toes, extend your hips back. On your next exhale, soften your knees down and bring your hips back to your heels. Good, last round, inhale, takes you forward. Curl your toes, extend your hips. Finding that nice full breath in, and exhale, release the knees down, sinking the hips to the heels. Good, and then just pausing here again, an opportunity to bring the palms to touch and taking those prayer hands behind the back. Start to reach the arms forward, peeling yourself up, walking your hands all the way back towards your knees, and take a seat on your shins. If this is not comfortable on your knees for any reason, please grab a block and place that block underneath your hips for some support. Good. As you inhale, reach your left arm skyward, and we'll take a gentle twist. Exhale, hands going to come to the front of the knee or maybe to the outer edge of the thigh. I prefer the front of the knee or thigh. And then right hand's gonna pull back behind you and shift your gaze back. One more inhale here. 
Exhale, unwind the body, coming back to center. Good, inhale, right arm reaches. Exhale, landing the hand to the top of the left thigh. So again, we're not deep twisting across the belly, just a little spine rotation. Left fingertips behind you, start to open up around your chest, shifting your gaze back. One more inhale here. Exhale, unwind, coming back to center. Good, little shoulder shrugs, pulling the shoulders up, back and down. Good, really nice. We're gonna come to a stand on our shins. I'm gonna grab my other block and I'm gonna place both blocks alongside my feet. So again, hopefully you have some similar props because they're really, really helpful to allow us to modify our practice. We're gonna move into some subtle back bends. So if you don't have blocks, I would just keep your hands at the base of your hips. We'll start here, coming into a gentle camel pose just to find that nice space across the front of the body. So hands are gonna be at the base of the hips. Uh, fingertips are pointing down. As you inhale, just gently tilting the heart skyward, maybe shifting your gaze. Try not to have the elbows float out. In fact, pull them in. Good, and then as you exhale, we're gonna hinge forward from the hips. Hands are gonna land on the mat. Good, taking an inhale in your tabletop position, neutral spine. Exhale, coil for cat. Inhale, come back to neutral. And then exhale, walking your hands back towards your knees. Good, so again, for those of you who don't have props like this, go ahead and keep the hands at the base of the spine. I'm gonna go ahead and reach down to my blocks to just grab a little more space. So on the inhale, I'm gonna extend my arms, hands are gonna push down into the blocks, and I'm gonna lift into my heart. Good, as I exhale, pressing off those blocks, hands release down towards the floor. Inhaling in my neutral tabletop, exhale, cat back, coil the spine. Inhale, coming back to center, and we'll take one more. Exhale, walking the hands to knees or shins. Come to that stand on the shins. Again, either hands are here, or releasing hands down towards the blocks. As you inhale, lift the heart, reach back, grab your props, pull those shoulder heads back, lift your heart, gazing up. On the next exhale, pressing off your blocks and gently shifting into your hips, hands to floor. Good, inhaling in your neutral tabletop, exhaling, coil the spine. Inhale, table, and I'm gonna crawl forward and just shift my legs off to one side. Coming into a nice, comfortable seated position. So I'm gonna sit cross legs. And you can take a looser cross in the legs. Sometimes that's helpful to create a little more space for the belly to fall. Honestly, that's where I'm feeling really comfortable lately, and that's fine. On an inhale, start to reach your arms up. And then as you exhale, releasing your left hand down towards the floor, taking your right arm up and over. Good, inhale, both arms skyward. Exhale, taking the right hand down, left arm up and over. Good, inhale, both arms skyward. And we'll find a fold, releasing forward, landing your hands maybe on the floor, maybe forearms come down. But I notice that even if I can move deeper, it's not so comfortable around the belly. So only go to where it's comfortable, where you don't feel like you're placing a lot of pressure and finding that space into our hips. Five cycles of breath. Mm -hmm. 
then slowly walking your hands back towards your shins. Stretch your legs forward, giving the legs a little shake out. And then recross, opposite shin's gonna come in front, so when we go into that fold, we're working into the opposite hip. Good, inhale, both arms reach skyward. We'll go to the right side first. So as you exhale, right hand down, left arm reaching. Inhale, both arms skyward. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaching. Good, inhale, both arms skyward. And exhale, fold to where is comfortable, softening in, finding that space. Five breaths. Be mindful to keep your sit bones rooting into the floor so we don't want to kind of lift off those sit bones. We want to feel an anchor into the pose. So that's part of the foundation. Anything that's touching the earth is helping us ground in. One more inhale here, and exhale, slowly starting to walk your hands back towards your shins. Really nice. So I've given a lot of options over the last few uh, sessions in terms of how we want to work into our rest or meditated pose. If you prefer to be in that reclining position, the one that we started in today, go ahead and reset yourself up like that. Otherwise, you're welcome to sit cross-legged if that feels comfortable, or move yourself close to a wall and, and uh, sit on some blocks to help elevate and open up your hips, okay? And that'll also provide you with a nice, long, neutral spine. So, and then of course, there's always that side-lying position with our leg draped over the bolster. So I'm gonna close off today in a seated position. And again, just a really nice, gentle practice and some of those back bends to help invigorate, the breath to help soothe, and let's soften the eyes to close, working towards a little bit of a mindful meditation practice. So as we're here, just focusing on the sounds and sensations of the breath, And a mindful meditation practice isn't about stopping your thoughts, and it's not about um, just being in complete stillness. It's also not about judging how we're meditating. So the idea here is to just simply be this observer, observing yourself, observing your body, observing your thoughts as events running through your mind, and not attaching to any one thing. So if there's discomfort, if there's a negative thought, an anxious thought, um, a cyclic thought pattern, just simply notice it. And in that same aspect, notice the areas of your body that feel really good. Notice the parts of your breathing that feel good. And notice the positive, warm, loving thoughts that make you feel good. And we'll be here for the next few moments. And if you find yourself starting to attach to a sensation in your body or a thought you're having, just see if you can acknowledge that that's happening and redirect your attention towards your breath. I know that that breath is nourishing the baby, supplying health, vitality, and life. I 
This might be a good time to start visualizing your ideal birth experience. Feeling very connected and knowing that through that time, you and your baby have a bond and a trust and that you two are working in it together. If you are playing with a birth experience visualization, start to bring in the colors of the room that you're in. Maybe you're indoors, maybe you're outdoors. Notice who's in the room with you. Any scents or sounds. If there's music. What are you experiencing in your body? Are you sitting? Are you rocking on a birthing ball? Are you reclining? So try and make the space and the environment as detailed as you can. If your support partner is there, what are they saying to you? If you're working with a doula or birth coach, what are they doing? Do you feel safe in your environment? And what are the things that you need or want there to encourage and foster that sense of safety? You're welcome to dwell in that visualization for as long as you like and even carrying it all the way out to the birth visualization of your baby. If you're ready to come back, Slowly making your way back into your space, noticing the sounds and sensations of the environment that immediately surround you, and then placing one hand over the heart center, one hand over belly. Taking a moment to really honor your practice, your dedication and commitment to your breath and bond with your baby and working each and every time that we meet to cultivate and nourish your body, your mind, and that of your baby. Thank you so much for joining me on our 32 week practice. If you have questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all the new prenatal videos as well as postnatal videos once we get closer um, to, of course, having the baby and then our recovery. So um, I'm so glad I'm able to share this journey with you and please feel free to reach out again with any questions and I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much. Namaste.